Hello guys, I am Azhar Jamal. So let us discuss what we covered in the last video. Last topic was if, else, if and else, right? If, else, if, else, to be very precise. So let me open the agenda for you. So we discussed what are conditional statements. So in 4A part, we discussed about if clauses, if clause, if condition, and if else condition. So we discussed in the last part, if, else, if, else, and end statement. So if, else, if, else. So what examples we covered at that time? So we covered a simple web series, right? And we have a tragic A life. If you, gonna, if you guys want to know about what happened with A, just click the I above the right hand side corner of the video, right? You'll get to know what happened with A. Any there, moving past that. Um, so A wants to see all his favorite TV series, right? So he wants to schedule in such a way in the entire month. So he wants to cover friends, suits. How I Met Your Mother and Dragon Ball Z. So friends, he's, he's going to cover on the first week of Saturday. Suits, he wants to cover on the second week of Saturday. Similarly, a two more web series are fall, falling with third week of Saturday and a fourth week of Saturday. So, so we simplified for A what's, what he wants to do. So we executed this program and I will just show you one example of it. So we'll execute this program. What is coming up? And uh, which week of Saturday, right? So I just I, I'll just enter Saturday the one, right? So what will be the output? The program says for A, you have to watch friends. What if what if nothing is given, right? What if I gave up nothing, right? So it says it's not a TV series, everybody. So to know that um, the thing which I used at that time was input box. So people might be wondering what is input box, right? Because normally I'll be assigning a value to a variable like this. So I'll be just assigning the value for a to, and I'll be executing the program. But now in the last uh, video, as I have used input box, I just wanted to make uh, I just wanted to make one more video, one more topic on uh, one more topic on input box, right? So let me just open um, and I know we have part 4C coming too, but before that, let me create one more part for you. So this will be a future part. So part five, right? So this will be an input box. So, so uh, let us take a part five, which is input box. Uh, let me write an agenda for part five. Then we can discuss a few more about input box, right? So let me let me copy the same agenda part five. So let me just uh, double click it. Agenda part five is nothing but input box. So uh, what is an input box? So input box, what is an input box? And there are some default statements. There, uh, there are some extra, um, extra inputs where this input box can take. So we'll discuss input box in detail, right? So let me just give a definition, sample definition. What did what is input box does? Input box takes the input from the user during runtime. So accessing 
user telling user to give input during runtime. Right? So how does it look? What is the syntax? So syntax is like quite mm, I'll say syntax might be complex, but let us see in depth. So um let's take input input box. So how many what are the default values? Like if do you want to give an input? Like if I give string, so this is a first value that input box can take. So we can have a string which is just which will be just a prompt value. So prompting the user, just just giving the user what what this what this box is about, right? So instead of uh, me writing the entire syntax, let us see an examples which all this which all this do, right? So let me. Uh, let me just write a program. So edit it, not this one. Um, edit it, okay, fine. So let me take uh, first input box example, right? So, um, Okay, um, so what is the, f uh, let, let us take any variable of, let us say A only. So I'm giving the value of this variable during runtime. So I'm indirectly prompting the user to dynamically give the value so that I don't have to hard code it like this. So I don't have to do this message box four. So I just, I don't want, so let me, let me see what will happen here, right? Uh, sorry. Not message box four, message box eight. Sorry, guys. Um, save as. Let me just write it. Um, first, take all files. Input. Input box. Example. One dot vbs. And have to give dot guys dot. After dot, what and all the extension comes to represent the script. So, um, so, so even though if you double click it, let's say a thousand times, ten thousand times, the four is the constant value because we hard coded it. We don't want to hard code it, right? So, um, let me so let me close the agenda. Let me open this file again. Let me just prompt it, right? So just just delete what is the value of four. So input box. I'm prompting the user. Please enter the value. Please enter the value. I'm just putting message box. Yeah. I'm printing a. What will be the value of a? So if I double click it, so see, please enter a value. You can see here, please enter a value. This represents what and all we gave here inside. So just let me let me edit that. Let me open this. So please enter a value is nothing but a prompt. Prompt will be entered in the input box. This, this is a pop-up, right? So this is the input box pop-up. So please enter a value, it's just the string we gave, so that it can be popped up here. So let me just minimize this, let me just enter. Um, please enter a value, so five. So what will the output? So dynamically five. As long as you enter different, different values, we can get all the values dynamically, instead of getting the four in the previous time. Always we were getting four, four values. We have covered the first part here. See, so we gave input box. 
we we took one argument the argument is a string it's just a prompt what if i want the title for the input box so input box here was not giving many title right see um, as you can see here this one this icon it's not giving many title it's just blank what if i want the title what if i brand it right so what if i say it's a, it's a group box right something like that so what if i brand it what if i write something so oh sorry i, I might have opened many um so let me close this agenda okay so what if i say so let me uh, comment it for the time being let me just copy it So what if I say uh, this pop-up is ha has a title, right? So let me just give VB script pop-up, right? VB script pop-up, VB script input box pop-up. So I want I'll save this uh, as you can see here. Please enter a value VB script pop-up. So um, so let me open the agenda for you. And let us write what is the second argument, right? So second argument is nothing but a title, which is also a string value, right? String value title of the pop-up. So let me save it. Let me close this. Let me edit this. So um, please enter value will be the value inside the pop-up and this one will be the title so i we have saved this let us close it let us double click it so as you can see here vb script pop up comes up here right so please enter a value i'm just entering value hello see so we got an answer hello okay we have one more argument what if what if i enter what if i don't enter anything right there should be some value popped up to the user saying you must enter something there should be a default value right so we have an argument here these are all um what to say these are all sign this title argument these are not mandatory but it is good to give right so the user can understand fully what input box is capable of what and all features are there for this input box so third will be something called a string this also can be a string can which will be a default value right so let me just save this let me close this let me edit this again Let me um, put a comment. Put a comment here. Um, okay. Let me just copy the example. Let me just uncomment it. Let me just write if user is not entering anything. So I'm just giving a value. You must enter a value. Okay, let me just save this. Um, let me. I'm oh, sorry. I just clicked that it on. Uh, let me just save this. Let me just close it. So let me double click that again. So. So Bob comes here, you must enter a value, right? What if I don't enter? Let's just click OK. So it pops up the ex exam, it pops a message, you have to enter a value. You got it? So what if I don't enter? What if I entered the value? Will that uh, pop up go away? Will that uh, message go away? So let's, let us enter hello. So hello will be 
appearing here, right? Instead of you must enter a value. So, okay. Uh, do we have more arguments? Yes, we, we do have more arguments. So last arguments will be x value and y value. So let me open it. So what will be the last value? So sorry, not here. And uh, so this is default string. Um, so next will be the position of input box, x position and y position, right? So let me just save this. Let me close that. Instead of writing example one, let me rename it as uh, just examples. It's an example, input box example. So let me just edit it. So let me just copy this, comment it. So my central value. So I want 100x, so maybe 500x, 500y. So let me save it, close it. So it pops up exactly here. And I've dragged it, but it pops exactly here. If you don't enter a value, it says you have to enter a value, right? So let me open the agenda again. Um, so guys, let me know in the comments below if you have uh, not understood about input box, about this, about the prompt, title, default, and exposition by position. This I'll be covering your message box in the future video also. So input box, message box, learn thoroughly. We'll uh, We'll, we'll create one more simple project with the help of input box and uh, message box. So that will have a lot of fun. So if you don't understand it, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be replying to you. So um, please like, if you like, if you if you like my videos, please subscribe it, please share it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.